Is there any additions or corrections to the previous meeting minutes?
I believe it's an annual um, membership there. And then the other thing I wanted to cover as well, a couple weeks ago, Teresa and I had a conversation with Karen, um, who is with SEMCRA, with regards to our small cities um, block grant application um, as they are finalizing it. Um, the pre-application came back as marginally competitive, and um, after some discussion, we made the decision that the final application would omit um, commercial funding. Um, as the greater need is in owner-occupied residential. So essentially what that means is we weren't, re we're not going to be requesting additional funds for the commercial rehab. Instead, the funds that we're utilizing from that MIF money to leverage, um, that can be put in and used for commercial, owner-occupied residential, rental, anything like that. So we would instead just utilize that leverage money for those types of projects. That way we can have a greater chance of getting more for the owner-occupied residential. So, did you have anything to add to that, Teresa? No, I think it was just a way to be competitive and not put our owner-occupied at risk of not being approved. And that... There's a public hearing on that on the 13th, correct? That's all I have on my coordinator report. Okay. Next, we'll move on to election of officers. Uh, Teresa, do we for staff clips are the president, vice president, and secretary? And which was appointed, I think, the, the coordinator. coordinator. Yeah. That was it. Or did we. Or was there a. Or it was a little more convoluted. <laughs> I think um, you could appoint the city clerk and then um, she could assign a task to the coordinator too. Maybe that's how we did it. I can't remember. I can't either. So elect a secretary and then, um, oh. Well, you know what? Do your president, vice president, and we can cover secretary at your next meeting. Okay. How about that? Okay. So is there any nominations for president? <laughs> uh, Everybody's too shy. <laughs> <laughs> I will uh, put my name back in for president. Is there any others? We'll take a, do we need a motion to second on that? Yeah. We'll take a motion for that. So moved. We'll take a second. Second. Yeah, second. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Okay. Vice President. Who is the Vice President? Currently it is Mike. I'm more than willing and happy to back you up. <laughs> if I need it. <laughs> is there anybody else that wants? And none. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Oh, okay. And then next month we'll come back with the yeah, secretary. We'll get the bylaws out and make sure we have it right. We'll look and see what we did last night too. Thank you. Move on to the 2019 priorities for the EDA. So I kind of just wanted to get your guys' input on some of the things that you would like to move forward with or towards um, as an EDA that we may not already be doing now or haven't addressed. Um, at this point, since I've gotten here, I've kind of just been working with Teresa through the comprehensive plan, um, going through and trying to find projects that are feasible and um, things that are relatively confident that we can, you know, obtain that and stuff. So. Um, I can continue to work through the comprehensive plan, kind of going through the economic development goals that were set forth in that, but I didn't know, you know, I also have the long-term capital planning outline that was put together before I got here, so um, I look at that often to see if there's any programming or things that might be able to, to fall into place through conversations that we may have, but 
um, just kind of wanted to get your guys' perspective on where we're at and what you wanted to work towards for how, this year. How are we coming on finalizing uh, our policy? We're updating that? Yep, so I need to revisit that. I have not had the opportunity. We've been busy with conversations a lot with developers and stuff, so I haven't had the chance to get back to the subsidy policy at this okay. point. Um, the biggest thing that was our struggle to overcome with that was um, the uh, revolving loan fund. And now that that can just be omitted and taken out, um, I'm just going to go back through and make sure all of the rest of the business subsidy policy makes sense and is, and is accurate. So. Um, I'll work on that here over the coming weeks, so I'll put that on um, one of the top priorities. We're already pretty much booked solid Thursday, so. Yep. Mm -hmm. Probably won't happen then. <laughs> no. We're just talking about when are we going to have lunch on Thursday. <laughs> so. <laughs> so I'll put that down to, to take a look and review and um, just make sure everything is up to date and kosher there. Anybody got anything else at the time? I wonder if we should continue uh, getting the word out on the facade improvement program. Yep. It says new, and it's probably not top of people's mind now until they start, spring comes around, you start but it'll be for sure to right. do something. I've talked to a few people that um, are, would like to do something, but until spring, they don't know if they're going to do it or not. Right. So I continue to get that up there. And our next coffee? Mm -hmm. Yep, that's on Thursday at 9 30. Thursday at 9 30. Is that at Daniel's? We're at Daniel's. Did that come out correctly in the yep. oh, utility? Yep. And I provided that in, I think, our email last week, in addition to the city website, and it's also on social media. Okay. Um, and that one, I'm kind of like alarmed. I haven't gotten very many responses, so um, I'm hoping that people have seen it and they just aren't registering in case they decide not to come. I'm, but um, I'm praying that we, we have attendees. Otherwise, Teresa and I will have a nice lunch at 9.30 in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be there. Uh, okay. I'll be there. I will okay. say that I did have a business owner. We went to the Main Street meeting at the library, and mm -hmm. I did have somebody say, you know, it's just impossible for me to make, uh, and the lady that has the uh, restaurants on Manorville Avenue, and she's not going to be able to be there for breakfast. She's cooking. She's not going right. to be able to be there at lunch. She's cooking. Uh, she could be there later in the evening, or you know, possibly we could have one. I'm I'm not for having one at 5:30 in the morning, but uh, <laughs> later. <laughs> I never. I'm just thinking that she said, you know, I just can't participate. So which yep. I think is tough for us. Yep, and I think that's going to be something that after our March one, I think that's why we set the 7.30, 9.30, and 2 p.m. to see if any of those were viable options to move forward with or if we were going to have to look at something after hours. If I recall, our initial discussion was adding another after hour event when people already have a lot going on in their week is sometimes difficult to do and what that turnout is. So I think after our March one, we should reassess times and um, frequency is monthly too much or how we want to maybe proceed going forward to try and find something that maybe makes a little bit more sense too based off of people who are able to attend and their feedback as well. So um, I think that would be good. And the other thing too, I did figure out a way on my event page mm -hmm. if we can get a list of emails, like I can also put I can do an email blast as well, so if chamber members are interested in getting actual email invitations, so it comes directly to them, um, okay. it might take some time to, to format and, and get all those emails input, but that's a potential too for a quicker, easier way to, to hit those people on a monthly basis. Okay. I'll find out. Okay. Okay, so for 2019 priorities, obviously um, policy updates, um, program promotion, just making sure that people are aware of the programming we do have to offer. Anything else that anybody has? I would add uh, two, two things. Um, the, the first, I think, <coughs> um, you know, we have, I, I think just kind of maximizing projects for uh, businesses or developers that are coming to you and just continuing to you know, let them, you know, let the market kind of guide some of our, our more urgent 
projects, which I think we're already doing, but I think continuing that priority. Um, and then I think I, I, I would say a, a second priority, which I think we're already seeing a little bit of, um, would be um, you know housing. Uh, we, we've got a housing study, we have the comp plan, we have developers that are talking to us, so I, I don't think it's anything new, but I think it's something that needs to be in our priority list still. Yeah. yeah. And I think we've had some good conversations along those lines mm -hmm. as well. Um, and are continuing to have more to see what we can get in town with, you know, regards to affordable housing and um, some good projects I think would be really helpful for the community. So hopefully those will continue to progress and move forward. So, okay. Anybody else have anything else on that? Okay. Um, Let's see, cast and connections. Um, I didn't know if you guys had any input, um, which would be appreciated, on some topics that you feel like we should cover at the cast and connections. I think the last one went really well. I felt like I was kind of flying by the seat of my pants a little bit. Um, but for the first one, it was nice to get the questions from those that were there about the EDA on, you know, further education and just not knowing exactly what our role in the community is. Um, but I didn't know if you guys had any ideas on things that we could potentially discuss um, that may be a little bit different than last month so it's not constantly always the same thing and we have something to draw people back every time we host it. So Did you mention anything at the last one about the, the, the side? Yep, Did and I took applications as well, which I can bring. I have a whole bunch of them, so I can bring them again. That way if there's anybody new that it comes, um, you know, I can hand an application and pass it out just so that it's there and accessible. What does facade mean? Like a storefront. It's like the uh, back or side? I mean, if that's what facade, facade the just exterior. means like a, an exterior, like a, typically referring to a front of a thing. Typically. Typically. Yeah, I mean, just as like a dictionary definition, it's like the front of a thing. You know, like I can put <laughs> up a facade. Exterior. Right, like I can put up a facade, you know, like I'm acting. You know, For instance, our corner building, building you know, on so. Main Street, when you go around his corner building now, uh, is that a facade on the, let's see, east? Of like on Manor Highway 57? Home Federal no, it's the building. That's that building that kind of leads back to her. Oh, yeah. But you think the exterior on any building would fall in the definition? Qualify. Yeah. Because people are still driving by it still up front. You see it. It's yeah. just not on Main. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, it didn't say it had to be on Main. Yeah, it's anywhere in the city. Right. For any yeah. business. In right. any location. Anywhere in the city. Right. Yep. Yeah. Any thoughts or things you guys feel like we need to discuss with people that may be there or anything like that? I thought the meeting went well. Yeah, I was pleased. Mm -hmm. it was nice, yeah. So, okay. I'll see if I can come up with anything to win. Maybe it's probably late this month, but try and get some information together too, just so people can kind of understand what it is that we do if they don't have the knowledge. So, okay. That's all I have. Uh, any other business that anybody needs to discuss today? And that then, uh, item, items for March of the EDA meeting. Anybody? Got any specific items they want on there right now? If something comes up, let staff know so we can get it in there for next month. Yeah, I think if we could get like a kind of a summary outline for about our uh, from the housing study about our submarket, like the east submarket might be. I mean, I don't yeah. Know, for folks that don't want to read the whole thing. And I also. Um, right now we're working at the county to get a meeting, a call set up with Maxfield, so thank you for bringing that up. Um, I sent out a copy of the housing study for all of you to enjoy in your spare time. Um, <laughs> but, um, yeah. And so we are going to set up a meeting with Maxfield just to discuss some things that we found um, 
slight errors or omissions that we felt like should be included. So we're gonna have a, a meeting to discuss that and then I will let everybody know too. We're going to do one meeting, like a public information meeting um, where Max Field will come to the county and it's open to the public and everyone's welcome to come um, listen in on what their findings were and how they came about what they came about. So um, I'll keep everybody posted on that, but yeah, I'll get some information put together um, and let you know the next meeting. And, and maybe just for the chaos and connections and our 2019 priorities to go together, we have this facade program we put together. We'll see if people want to do it. Um, ask people along those lines, what? what else could the EDA do on a small scale that could assist your business? Maybe they don't need the front of their building or the outside of their building improved. Maybe they need something else, a, a marketing fund or a, something else that would assist mm -hmm. their business. You know, what, what is it that they perceive that they would need that the EDA could help with? Yeah. That would make sense for an EDA to help with. Mm -hmm. I'm sure I'd love people to pay half my utility bill. Yeah, right. That's not, you know, probably not the EDA no, place, no, but you know, no, no. so, you know, just ask, you know, along the lines of the facade improvements, what else would they look for? Okay. If there is nothing else for our agenda, I'll take a motion to adjourn. Make a motion. Have a motion. Do we have a second? Second. All in favor? Hi. Thank you, everybody. Oh.